morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming today. Um, Dennis is shining on us with the sunshine we got instead of rain and snow like they predicted. And uh, uh, wonderful turnout. Thank you all for coming um, to the dedication of the Hadley Public Safety Complex, which will be named in a little bit. Um, I'd like to bring up Sarah Buto, the Reverend from the First Congregational Church, to say a prayer for our opening. Let us pray. Oh God, we have come together today to remember and to honor the Chief, Dennis Huckowitz, who is a man of great faith. If faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not understand, then faith is about vision. And Dennis, Dennis was a man of great vision. He grew up in a little town called Hadley, but he saw what that town would one day grow up to be. And he saw what that town would need. And he worked his whole life to make sure that the infrastructure would be there to serve and protect this town. But this room, this, this house that he built, is full of people that he saw something into, whether we are farmers or ministers or teachers or police officers. He was somebody who saw not just who we were, but who we could be, and he mentored so many of us to become the best we could be, not just for ourselves, but so that we could serve this town, knowing that this town is only as strong as the people in it. He made us all a little bit stronger. And so we come together to remember him and to honor him with this dedication today. But may this dedication not end with this building, but with each one of us as we go forth that we might do our best for the people of Hadley as he did. We thank you for Dennis God. We thank you for him and his example. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I had gotten to know Dennis over the years between school committee and board of selectmen and uh, being the liaison to the police and the fire department. Um, we had many conversations. Um, I was privileged to take care of him in the hospital also when he was sick. Um, we had many conversations and uh, he'd be looking at us today and wanting to know what we were doing. Um, he never he was very humble, probably didn't feel like he deserved to have this happen today. He thought of himself as like, well, then he'd ask the question, how much is this costing? <laughs> he was very frugal. He was very frugal with the department. Um, but he certainly did take care of everybody the best way he knew how. He enjoyed his time in Hadley. He was a Hadleyite. He grew up here in Hadley. He uh, graduated from Hopkins Academy. Uh, he joined the police um, department in 1973. Uh, he became chief in 1993 and uh, saw the department through many changes from the old um, building on West Street to developing this building here and wishing for it to go into the future. I know that he would be very proud of the officers that are here today and that have been, been here in the past. Um, he developed this department. Uh, brought on Chief Mason, um, and here we are all together today. So uh, we'll go forward. I would like to um, bring up Lieutenant Michael Majeski, who's retired, and uh, have him say a few words about Dennis. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, when I was asked by uh, Janet and the chief to come up here and say a few words. Um, there's a flood of thoughts went through my mind. From uh, the old station where a rainy day we'd be sweeping water out of the office, out into the garage so Marion could sit there without her feet being soaking wet and saying one day we gotta have a new place. And um, it was a dream of his that um, someday we would have 
this. When the town finally said, okay, we have some property, school's going to be built first, we're second, we said, okay, we can wait, we waited this long. Um, and then they put foundation down for us and they started building. And um, the memory I remember most about this building being built is they put the first floor in and they were putting up the uh, rafters and put on the, the roof. And he says, come on, we gotta go check it out. So we came over here and we walked up the back stairs. And there were no walls or anything. It was just wide open. And when we came up to the top stair, we looked at each other with our mouths wide open. Eyes couldn't believe the size of this place. And it's like, there's 15, what we have now, just right here. Granted, it was, hadn't been broke up. The fire department was going to be here, but we were like two kids in a candy store. It was unbelievable. And that, when I think of this place, I think of that moment when we walked up here for that first time and saw that. It was just unbelievable. And Dennis, every day, was looking at what was being done, how it was being done, so that he would know the inner works of this place, so that he could carry it on, bring it on to us, so that when we moved here, we'd have everything set, we'd know what to do, and how to use the place. Um, he was, uh, his heart was here. When, they, when the town said, okay, we're gonna build you a station, it was a new light for him. It was a new light for all of us. But Dennis really had this special spot. Um, Dennis is Dennis. That's all I can say. I don't want to make it too long. But uh, when you look around here, either side, this side, the other side, it's all Dennis. I know the fire department put a ton of work in here too. But Dennis was here every day doing his police work, making sure that what we needed was put in, talking to the work strongly with the fire department uh, to make sure that we'd all be happy and this place would work and last us many, many years. Thank you. everybody for coming to this dedication of the public safety complex to my husband. I would personally like to thank Dan Dukevitz, who was on the select board at the time, for making the motion to have this complex renamed to the Dennis J. Huckowitz Public Safety Complex, and to the Board of Selectmen for voting yes. I would like to thank the committee, Police Chief Mike Mason, Fire Chief Mike Spanknable, Sergeant Mitch Cook, Jerry Devine, Norm Barstow, and Chip Parsons for all of their work to make this special day happen. I thank you. This is a very special day for the Huckowitz family and for Dennis. What an honor to have this building named for him. He helped design this complex and then spent 17 years working in it. Dennis would be so honored and humbled, but he would not want all of this fuss. He did not like to be the center of attention, and I can picture him in my mind right now, rolling his eyes, mumbling under his breath, 
that the town of Hadley did not need to do this. Dennis may have seemed a little gruff on the outside, but we know how big his heart was underneath. I remember him leaving a big birthday sign on a, front, on a friend's front lawn announcing her very special birthday. He never forgot Administrative Assistance Day. He always had a bouquet of flowers for them. And the candy dish in his office was always filled for when any officer came in to see him. But today is his day, and I'm sure you all have an I remember when story to tell about Dennis, and I would love to hear them all. Dennis rarely shared any of the happenings of his day with me because when he left the station, he left his work behind. He came home to his family and to the farm that he so loved. I want to leave you with a few words about Dennis that Reverend Sarah Buteau said in her eulogy. Dennis never forgot where he came from because he never left. He didn't strive to be the best. He strove to do his best for us, his best for this town. introduce Chief Michael Mason. Um, I just have to tell a little story about you too. <laughs> um, in one of my um, sittings with uh, Dennis uh, just before he passed, we talked on many occasions about uh, who his successor was going to be. He knew that we were going to be faced with this uh, in the upcoming months and who to name for uh, chief and whatever and he said, you know, it really should be Chief Mason, it should be Mike Mason. And I said, why do you say that? He says, because he's got such a level head on him and he's, uh, he just knows the ins and outs of the department, but he, and he had a lot more to say. Um, little did he know that when we went through the process of, of, of picking a chief that uh, even some people that were on the committee said, did somebody hand him all of the answers to the questions? <laughs> he was so precise. He was so, um, I just sat there and I was so proud of how he did answer the questions, um, as did the other candidates too, but there was just something about Mike that um, he, sh he just shone. He just uh, was a light in the room. That, uh, that was the person that came out on top and it wasn't because of, of uh, anybody underhanding or whatever that, you know, picked somebody else to be the chief, but he answered all the questions right, and I think just Dennis knew that you were going to do that, and you know that was that was his choice. And um, certainly, you have uh, brought this department forward. You made your police department, and you've made the fire department um, congeal to one. And um, he would be so proud of you and your department and the fire department. He would. Uh, I, I know that's why he brought the son out today because he is really, you know, looking down on us and saying, good job and keep it going. So, keep <laughs> Mason. Thank you all for coming. Um, very quickly, I would like to uh, first thank the members of the committee uh, for their hard work to make this day possible. Uh, Mr. Devine really jump-started the process again because it had been a long time um, since the, uh, uh, the suggestion was made to name this building after Dennis. Uh, he got us, got the committee going again. Mr. Barstow, Mr. Parsons, um, Chief Spanknibble, Sergeant Cook, Miss Jackie helped. Um, thank you for uh, all the work that you did and also uh, for those of you who were able to donate uh, anything for the sign and the plaque, it was greatly appreciated. Um, so I thank you for that as well. 
I was a little bit nervous when I saw people start to show up this morning. I had a funny feeling that we weren't going to have enough chairs regardless of where we um, had this, this ceremony. But I do want to thank you all for being here. It, it means uh, a lot, not only to the Huckowitz family, uh, but also um, to all the officers and the firefighters who are here to celebrate this occasion. Uh, building dedication is something I've never personally been a part of before, and for it to involve the man who gave me my start in this profession, it means that much more. More than 15 years ago, I was in between my sophomore, junior year in college, somewhere around there, working as a flooring manager in one of the local businesses right here in Hadley. The phone rang at my parents' house. My father, wide-eyed and excited, quickly walked in my direction, his hand over the receiver, <coughs> whispered, it's the chief in Hadley. I took the phone and I heard that low growl <laughs> that anyone who has ever had a conversation with Dennis knows. He asked if I would come in for an interview. He hired me as a dispatcher, uh, sponsored me through police academies, and promoted me through the ranks of every position that we have here. And now I sit in his office. I know now from experience that being a chief has its ups and downs. It is not an easy job. And you don't make a whole lot of friends. But one thing I always remember about Dennis was that he would always encourage me to be myself and don't be led around by people who may not have your best interests in mind. I remember a lot of people avoiding his office when he was around. That's not uncommon. <laughs> One thing that I always remember is that I never felt like that around him. I never minded stopping in to chat with him. I was always comfortable sitting down for a few minutes, either in the morning after a night shift or at the beginning of an evening shift. I even remember Dennis writing down my crazy sleep schedule when I was working nights. And he would always call, and the first thing he would say is, my schedule says you should be awake right now. <laughs> I honestly found very few instances that I couldn't talk to him because he was too busy or in a bad mood, except during budget time, which I totally understand now. <laughs> Over the years, I became more and more... Switch your mouth. Over the years, I became more and more grateful for the lessons and opportunities given. I guess he wants me to stop. Huh? <laughs> it wasn't because he gave me my start that I was grateful to him, or because he promoted me through the ranks that I liked him. It wasn't because he let me attend specialized trainings or develop my skills as an officer. It was because sometimes he said no. That is probably one of the most difficult things that a leader has to do. Even when you want to say yes, sometimes yes isn't possible. We disagreed on many things over the years, but there were lessons within those disagreements. And that is a lesson that I will take with me as I try to be a leader in this building. This building is not being dedicated to Dennis because he did so much work with the committee to get it designed or all the work required to bring it to completion or even filling it up with all of the equipment and personnel which give it the character that makes it what it is. While all of those things are true, and certainly in my opinion a good enough reason for a dedication, this building is being dedicated because it was Dennis who dedicated the majority of his life to this town. You don't name a building after someone just because they held a position of importance. You do it to honor their contribution to the greater good. There is a larger picture to consider. And this building was the start of something great, something that drove our agency into the future, but is also something for us to build on. What Dennis left us with this building and all that it contains is a foundation for us to stand on and follow his path of sacrifice for our community. So it is in the spirit of sacrifice that I want to extend my thanks to Janet, Andrew, and all of the Huckowitz family, family for allowing us to have Dennis all of those years. We are all better for it. It is now my honor to present you the dedication plaque 
designed in Dennis's memory. His first duties was that of protecting the school children and teachers as they crossed the busy intersection of Routes 9 and 47. His career progressed to the rank of Sergeant October 7, 1980, promoted to Lieutenant March 18, 1987, appointed Acting Chief June 29, 1988, and Hadley's first full-time Chief of Police on July 29, 1993. He was a lifelong resident of Hadley and dedicated his life to his family, farming, and the Hadley Police Department, and the citizens and visitors of Hadley. He guided the many missions of the Hadley Police Department, including the implementation of the D.A.R.E. program, promoting life safety education to generations of children in the Hadley school system, and the introduction of the first canine unit. Chief Huckowitz was a very focused and committed member of the Hadley Public Safety Complex, I'm sorry, Hadley Public Building Committee from 1991 to the opening of the complex in 1996 with a dispatch center supporting the combined police, fire, and rescue services. It was clearly important to him that we build a facility that would serve the town for the foreseeable future and enhance the job support of the dedicated men and women who serve the public safety in the town of Hadley, Massachusetts. It is a most fitting honor that the Hadley Public Safety Complex be dedicated in his name. Dennis J. Huckowitz, Chief of Police, July 1993 to February 2014, badge number 310, has been retired in his honor to serve and protect, dedicated February 20th, 2016. I'm going to ask you to follow that up. Um, I'd like to ask if the committee members or anybody from the public who would like to come up and say a few words or share a story about Dennis or just talk about whatever. Anybody would like to come up? Jerry. You surprised? Oh. <laughs> I'd like to say a few words and mostly they are. It was an honor and a pleasure to work on this committee. Um, everybody who knows Dennis knew he was a old town cop and he ran this town like he was an old town cop. Everything wasn't a huge big deal to him. He understand that people made mistakes along the way and he didn't ruin anybody's future by doing it. He grabbed him by the scuff of the neck, grabbed him into the office and said, sit down boy, you know, let's talk about this. What are you thinking about? You know, you have your parents to honor and, and your, your town to honor. So straighten out and let's get this straightened out and don't ever let me see you in here again. And he did a great job of it. And he, instituted a lot of honor into a lot of the people that you know came through this town of Hadley and that's referenced by all the people that are here today and most of the people will tell you a story about that everybody's got a story about Dennis um, guys thanks so much to, to you guys and to the association who uh, on top of everything else had a big hand in the financing of this it means a lot uh, to the rest of us that are the taxpayers and the townspeople to remember that it got done that way really appreciate it to everybody else that was on the committee uh, you guys did a great job. Every time we needed to set up a meeting, you were there. Um, and I'd also like to say that uh, Peg Jekinowski uh, told me she wasn't going to vote for me if I didn't uh, kind of get involved with starting this project back up. Again. So Peg, it's to you as well. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>
26 years ago, it was probably one of my easiest decisions I ever made. Uh, I was on the board of selectmen, a three-member board, and we knew what we had in our hands with Dennis. He worked as a police officer the same way he worked on his farm. You know, he loved it, and he loved being an officer. And as I said, it was one of my easiest decisions I ever made 26 years ago to appoint him acting chief, and the rest was easy for the next board that followed. Dennis has done a wonderful job for Hadley, and thank God everybody's showing today exactly what he did. And we all appreciate everything he's done for Hadley for the years that he was chief. Thank you. I was hiding in back, but um, I gotta give a kudos to Norm Barstow because this building did mean so much to us. Norm Barstow, Norm Brown, I didn't see you over there, were the co-chairs. And for us to have them supporting us, uh, that meant a lot to Dennis too. So thank you for your work all those years ago. So you, it was great. Um, <clears throat> There's one picture that's missing, and I talked to Janet about it uh, back a couple years ago. There was a marijuana raid. Mike Majewski, Dennis Huckwood, State Police. Mounds of marijuana. And Dennis, nowhere else but Hadley was the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And, I mean, it was the epitome, and he's got this big grin, and there's all this pot that they took from wherever, and it was just, of course you had that shirt on. <laughs> the other thing, too, is a lot of people don't remember that we never used to have a 24-hour police department. There, was, there were years that the budget was so bad, we were restricted to 30 miles a ship for patrol. Not a lot of people would have stayed through that. And certainly not a lot of people would want to take on a department that was under those kind of constraints. So there's a lot of special people that have gone through, and Dennis always set the tone for us. So there, when um, they quoted me in the Gazette, I meant what I said, that he was a part of this town. It was, it was more than a job. Thank you. stories out there, but you're just not sharing them. Um, in that case, then we'll move on to Chief Michael Spankenable, who will do the closing. And, uh, okay. Well, thank you. So mine's nice and short. <laughs> I got the easy job. Um, I would like to say thank you to all of our firefighters and the police officers that helped clean the station out and get everything set up today, this morning. Uh, Barstow's Dairy and uh, North Hadley Sugar Shack for all the snacks and treats that we'd like you to stay. and and you know, talk about Dennis and his, with his family. Um, so feel free to share in that. I would like to say that um, when I started as the first full-time lieutenant, um, I remember Dennis was, he was kind of my, kind of showed me how to handle things in town too, being here on your own. So his door was always open to me. Uh, he also helped me with my position as well. I don't know if you know that, but um, he had a lot of confidence in me and I know that he was extremely excited when the town decided to elect me as uh, the first full chief. I remember how excited he was to move forward with me, and I do miss him. So, anyways, uh, thank you for coming out, and enjoy the food, and if anybody else wants to come up and say a story last call. So thank you very much for coming, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs>